So what I want to do is create a second option for the layer of the building using the same values that I've applied to the surfaces. And I just want to show that on the Analyze tab, I can choose to look at the buildings as mass forms. Um, I can choose to look at them as surfaces so that I can see the uh, the walls and the windows. And I can choose to look at them as zones. So the zones, which show in a different color here, are actually the activities, the gymnasium or the classroom uh, activity within here. Right now, because we set general values, as far as the activity goes, it just thinks of it as all being school. Um, I'll show you how to change that. But right now, what I want to do is I want to look at the floor plan here. And I'm looking at this just kind of in the mass form. And I want to go to design options and say, let's create some uh, alternatives. I'll call this uh, new school. This is just me saving the project. So what I want to do, the design options, I'm saying I'm going to create a, a set for exploring how the building performs. That set, the first one, I'm going to rename it and call it orientation. And then the option, that's the layout of the building itself, I'm going to rename that and call that north south because that's how I uh, north south because that's how I oriented the original drawings now when I drew all of this before I had the options everything was considered as being on the level of the main uh, the main model and so if I look in here you see I've got north south and uh, I should have done one other thing here is I'm going to create a second option that I'm going to call east-west. Okay, so I've now got, I'm going to have two options, north-south orientation and east-west orientation for the same building. So but what I'm doing here is back in, the, back in this main model, I'm, I'm going to select the, uh, the geometry. So I'm holding the control key and I'm picking my, my classrooms and the gymnasium itself. And then under the Analyze and Add to Set, I'm really saying here, because there's a check mark, I'm really saying copy that geometry or assume that geometry belongs to both the north-south and the east-west uh, design option. So the way this would show up at, at, at the moment is that if I look at this, I'm going to switch to my 3D view. I'll be able in my project to switch between north, south and east, west. The thing at the moment is I haven't actually made any change. So when I'm looking at the option that was east, west, what I could do is uh, select the mass forms that are there. And then I'm going to pick the rotate command. I'll actually do it from, say, the corner of the building here. But I'm just going to say, uh, first angle and second angle to turn this by 90 degrees like that place it in my site so now what i'm going to see is that when i escape this i go back to my design options if i said show me the the north south it shows like that if i say show me east west it shows like that wherever i placed it and now what i want to do because i've done a report of the north south already i'm going to say well analyze that option and I'll say this is uh, east-west. And uh, I can continue to work on my model as it, uh, as it makes changes. So up here on the results and compare, I can say there's my east-west report. I actually, I should have if I'd saved my project earlier, so it was called New School, both of those would be showing under the same the same heading of New School, East, West, and Baseline, North, South. Uh, it doesn't really matter for what I'm trying to show here because the point is that when it's finished like this, 96% done already, um, there's, my, there's my alert, I'll just close that, is that I can pick those two reports that I'm interested in, the East, West, and the Baseline, and I can say compare them side by side. 
so that if I open that up now, I've got my views. If I can click on it, I'll see it close. If I click again, I'm back in the report. But the main point here was to show you that if I go to the the energy settings here, my uh, my north-south orientation would cost about one hundred and thirty-two and a half thousand dollars over thirty years for heating and cooling, but my north-south is one hundred and seventy-one. So you just made a saving of about uh, what um, for say about forty thousand dollars. Uh, also, if you look on the uh, carbon footprint, the north south is 42 tons, and, and the sorry, the north south is 42, so the east west is, tw is 26. So the orientation is making quite a bit of difference to the performance of the building itself. Let me uh, say that I could save those reports, let's say export the report as a, a comparison report. And, and save that to my project file, I'll just overwrite it. That, that way, from the PDF file, I can open it up and read it and compare uh, the results. So I've done two studies very, very quickly that give me feedback on the building. I'll continue, I'll do one more movie just to show how I can edit the actual individual parts of the building to explore other options.